What's up, you guys? It's Matt here. So I wanted to talk to you about uh, a thing that I've received multiple times. It's a question that came across my desk um, numerous times. It's all about GME and AMC, right? They they said, hey, why do you believe that AMC is going to squeeze to 100K if GME only got to 500? Well, there's a simple explanation to that, and we're going to break this down a little bit. We're going to break down what the difference is between the two, and we're going to break down how I believe this is going to happen. So before I start, make sure you guys hit that like button. Also hit the subscribe button for more videos like this one, and make sure that you get your free stocks with Weeble down below. Um, don't forget to check out some of the links in the description. It does help out the channel. Now, Let's look at some numbers here. We're gonna first you know, focus on AMC. We're gonna look at uh, the shares outstanding. We're gonna look at the uh, the percentage of you know that's shorted out of the public float. We're also gonna look at um, the amount of shares that's there. So we're gonna focus on those things for AMC and GME just to give you some numbers. So we have 501 million shares outstanding. We have a 20% um, you know, short percentage. And then also just to look at the numbers, um, that's 102 million shorted shares, right? So that's 20%, that's a pretty impactful number. You can understand that GME is the same way. 20%. And you're going to see that that's at uh, 12 million shorted shares. And the shares outstanding is 71.82 million shares, right? That's that's a huge difference in the numbers, right? You can see that it's still 20%. We know that we can't fully trust these numbers and we have numbers outside of this. But if we were just looking at these and understanding why you know, we may see a price change a lot more in GME or uh, less of a price change in, in AMC and more of a move if we have more shares that are ended up uh, selling or, or buying or whatever on AMC, it's because of the difference in the amount of shares that are out there. Um, so. When you have a higher um, amount of shares outstanding, um, you need more and more shares in order to um, impact that price. So if you're looking to increase that price a crazy amount, you need a lot more on the buy side in order to do it. Same thing for the sell side. But for GME, you don't need that much. If you have a million shares that are traded on, on GME versus a million shares that are traded on AMC, it's gonna impact the price a lot differently between the two. And you're gonna see GME rise because of less shares that are out there. This is why a lot of people didn't want any shares to be sold on AMC because they wanted to stay at, you know, was it 450 million, I believe. Um, but that's the numbers that you really need to focus on just to understand the impact there. But when we get into the differences between the two, we're going to be breaking down these. So we look at the charts here. This is um, year to date. We're looking at both of them, AMC over here to the right and GME over here to the left. We understood that AMC had a little bit of a jump um, around the time where AMC had their initial squeeze. And what, what you need to understand is this $483 is not a squeeze. It was the start to a squeeze. This was derailed by a lot of restrictions. So you know that GME was restricted to where you couldn't actually buy it for a long period of time. AMC um, was restricted as well, but they weren't really in that phase of being um, and at that squeeze moment yet. They were in the buildup phase and they're still kind of... Um, in the buildup phase because we still haven't gotten to a point to where they covered um you know any of their shorts and anything but you look at gme and it was a point to where they were restricted so that's the reason why you didn't see that jump over that point because that should have gotten to easily to a thousand dollars it's something to where they had a lot of um you know shorts that were going out they were starting to cover a lot of it you had a lot of people that were fomo buying institutions other hedge funds getting into it driving that price up However, once the buy button went away, a lot of the retail traders actually went away as well. So now you're starting to see a lot of selling action on the way down, a lot of shorting action on the way down, which actually um, increased the amount that it could get to, increase that ceiling of where GME could get to. Maybe the squeeze was only supposed to get to $1,000, but they made it worse. As they started shorting on the way down, as they took the sell button away, they thought of it as their opportunity in order to do that. So they're basically increasing um, their chances of losing more money and increasing our chances of gaining more money. So that's exactly what we've seen here where it did settle and it did settle down at these lower points down to like $46 or $43, right? The same thing for AMC, we've seen that. But the the difference that we're seeing here and the reason why I'm saying that it could get to uh, you know a higher uh, level 
is because of the fact that this was derailed. This was derailed. And I understand that this didn't really have too much strength. It was probably gonna go to max maybe like $50. It didn't really have too much strength behind it because they were shorting it, but not to the level that they are still shorting it now and naked shorting it now. So um, this is definitely different than what we've seen um, in the past. So GME at 483, is not something to where you would look at it and say that's the max that you could see AMC get to. No, it's not. Um, that is literally just um, you know the tip of the iceberg. Like it's not even close to what it should have been. This should have. This is basically half of what it should have been at that point. And the fact that they're doubling, tripling, quadrupling down is making it worse for their situation. That's the reason why I say it could have been stronger. So uh, for all the people that are saying, hey, you know, GME only got to 500, that was because it was derailed. Something that was taken, it's literally had its uh, legs cut out from under them, but then, you know, now we're starting to see this build back up and now we're starting to see it get back to a point to where, yeah, it's resisting at 350, but the only reason it's resisting at 350 is because they don't want it to uh, get over those levels of the actual market open, where it got to in the market open. Open, the highest points that it did get to and then um, as of late you're seeing it get back to those points it actually resisted at 350 again so you know that it wasn't just something uh, of a fluke we had a lot of buying strength going up to this in a short period of time to actually push this up for GME so is that done at 350 is that done at 400 no it can easily get to a thousand that's why I'm thinking that the floor for both of these for both of these is a thousand the only thing I would say is that GME can probably get there faster because of the fact that they have this uh, public uh, float. They have the, um, you know, the amount of shares outstanding a lot lower than what AMC actually is. So with any um, impact, with any type of shares, you would see probably five or, you know, uh, let's say, um, you know, GME has, I don't know, 50, 50 shares that goes out there and AMC has 50 shares that goes out there. It's going to be a lot more impactful for GME than it is AMC. Do you get what I'm saying? Um, so that's why I'm saying that it could be a lot different, um, but it's just going to be different in the amount of time. I think to tell you the truth, we're going to see both of these squeeze to probably uh, close to the exact same amount. Um, AMC might have a little bit more of an impact with the amount of naked shorts, the amount of attention that's continued to go through it. I look at it as if it's in the news more, then it's probably something that's um, more impacted by the hedge funds. And um, that's something that might have a little bit more of a, an ability to squeeze. So um, either way, both of these are going to be great. I think they're going to be um, amazing. And I just wanted to clearly break down the difference that we have seen here because it's not about whether AMC um, can get past this GME mark, right? Because it got way, it can get way past that GME mark because GME got derailed. That's the main thing that you want to focus on is the, is the restrictions of trading. If we have any restrictions of trading, it, it stops the ability for retail traders to continue to buy up that position, whether it's at $400, $500, $600, $700. $700. If they derail them with restricting trading, which I hope they don't do for AMC, then you're going to see um, that issue again. And if they continue to short it on the way down, we're obviously going to look at the numbers then it's going to be um, a horrible situation for them because instead of quadrupling down, now they basically uh, 20 times or 20x their uh, <laughs> their short percentage, I guess. It's just going to be a little ridiculous. But anyways, let me know what you guys think about this. Is this a true breakdown? Do you understand exactly where this is coming from? Does this make sense of you know how uh, this will happen and um, you know why this number is not even you know where it would have been at or even close to where it should be um, right now i know that my floor is between a thousand and two thousand i know that that is the floor of where it can get to obviously you want to increase your shares do whatever you want to do in the meantime but know that the floor is somewhere around that one thousand to two thousand dollar mark so ultimately if i wanted to break this down um and say like how is it going to get there the way that it's going to get there is the fact that we have um, the amount of people that are holding this stock, 80%, um, if not more, that are holding this stock, the amount of shorted shares that are going into, um, that are going out there, the amount of naked shorts that are going out there. We know that once they start covering, it's going to be uh, 
a crazy, crazy ride. Um, whether you're looking to, you know, sell some on the way up or you're looking to sell all of it on the way down. I've gone through an exit strategy. If you want to check out that video, definitely go ahead and check it out. It's on my channel. But it's going to be a crazy ride and we know what we have to do. It's pretty much just just hold. Um, for some people that have a strategy of, you know, selling bits and pieces on the way up, you can definitely do that. Some people have a strategy of selling all of it at the top, then go ahead if you can find out where that top is. And then also for people that have the ability of selling on the way down, then you can do that as well. But that's my video, guys. Make sure you guys hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell for more videos like this one. Also, make sure you get your free stocks with Weeble down below. Don't forget to check out some of the links in the description and join as a channel member or join the Discord group. But I'm going to go ahead and get out of here and I will catch you guys in the next video.